So the fork joints came out pretty good. This side I didn't do too bad on. It was easy. See that came out pretty solid, pretty smooth, no bubbles or nothing. But then you come to this side. The video you can't see. Well, yeah you can. <laughs> Terrible. Think I may be losing my mind. Oh, I already lost it. Already lost it. Damn, I may be losing my mind. Now don't tell me that I lost it. That I lost it. Last thing we're doing tonight. past 3.30 in the morning is this joint right here still don't exactly know what this part is for probably some piece on the bike because so you can see it go like that and then it like kind of like finish off you know it's supposed to like go together but we'll see we'll see but let's get this joint on. Lego. These some tough stickers. These some thick, tough stickers, I tell you that. It's on these forks. We got them on both sides. Stayed on there good, but <laughs> it ain't the easiest joints to get off, I tell you that. Using the heat gun. Doing my best right now though, so. I'm gonna have to um, get these off and then like use the goo gone or something. To, Cause it's leaving a lot of residue. A lot of that. But, gotta get it done, you feel me? Get the new joints on there. Let go. Got the stickers off on both sides. And as you see, they left all this residue. Each one left. It's like basically the sticker came off. But all the sticker goo, glue.
stayed on there. It's hard to even get a good picture of it, but I think I'm gonna try to use a razor blade, Zacto knife, to get it all off. Gugon Pro Power. It's my go to. It does help get sticker glue off pretty good. Just gotta take your time with it and let's get this thing done. Lego. Alright. So it took me a good hour and a half's time. To get the old sticker off the force and get all the glue residue that was left over. Just got it all off, got it washed off. But that literally just took me an hour and a half time. And I and that's not even getting the graphics on there. Putting the new stickers on there. <laughs> Sheesh. This stuff takes time. Take your time. But it's part of it. Looks good now though. No more residue, no more nothing. Now I'm about to put the um, swing arm graphics on. Let do it, Lego. do so the fork joints came out pretty good this side I didn't do too bad on it was easy see that came out pretty solid pretty smooth no bubbles or nothing but then you come to this side The video, you can't see. Well, yeah, you can. <laughs> Terrible. I honestly just really don't like, I don't know. I think it's partly I don't like how these graphics fit on here. And you know my amateur abilities, but it is what it is, man. I don't know. Buying cheap graphics off of eBay is what you get. <laughs> Cause I'm really not that much of an amateur. I put on vinyl, install vinyl, and do all kind of 
I use vinyl all the time, and this is pretty much the same thing. It actually is made by Oracle, which I use all the time. But this is what we got, bro. So you can see this is the other side, fork joint. This <laughs> did not turn out anywhere near as good as I thought it would. It is what it is, it ain't what it ain't. But start putting the bike back together, get the seat back on and well first I'm um I don't know. That's it for now. Legal.